greeting to you, our viewer and friend who are joining us on 24 Hours Channel. Let's follow the latest, hottest news about the security, order, and social situation that has occurred during the days, both domestically and internationally. Please try us. Hello, audience. The floods of 2021 and 2022 are still fresh in the memory of the Chinese people, and this year there is another heavy rain. Recently, many provinces in the lower Yangtze River or Yangtze River including Hunan, Hebei, Anhui, Jiangxi and Sichuan, have been ambushed by heavy rains. 36 rivers exceeded warning levels, irrigation ministry officials said, not ruling out the possibility of flooding. Since last Friday in nine provinces of China including Hunan, Jiangxi, Zhejiang, Fujian, Guangdong, Guangxi, there has been heavy rain. Heavy rainfall in six rivers has exceeded warning levels, and several cities have experienced flooding. Video posted on social media shows that, this morning in Nanning City, Guangxi Province, heavy rain poured down and the city turned into an ocean. Two days earlier, Yuchong City, Fujian also appeared flooded. This morning, suddenly a huge flood of pipes up to 16 meters high continued to engulf a place that is said to be China's most majestic luxury. This place has many classes of high-ranking officials of the Xi Jinping government gathered here. Ladies and gentlemen, the above information was published by a local newspaper. At 2.30 a.m. this morning, a flood of pipes nearly as high as a seven-story building swept through three provinces of Wuhan, Hubei and Hunan. Running along the dike of a tributary of the People's River at a fairly rapid speed and with a huge amount of water quickly covered and flattened an autonomous region of China. According to initial statistics, the damage caused by yesterday's flood of pipes was extremely catastrophic. This made neighboring provinces such as Sichuan, Yinan, Jiangxi, Anhui and Weiju extremely afraid. Ladies and gentlemen, according to observers, the anger of nature and the early morning floods this morning caused heavy damage in southern China, and now it is even more tragic. This has been issued an urgent warning by China's disaster, drought, and flood prevention and control agencies and agencies specializing in the study of flash floods, tube floods, landslides, earthquakes, and tsunamis. For the government and people here to grasp the situation. But they could not have imagined that the flood of pipes and flash floods this morning would be so terrifying. All thoughts and defensive calculations of the Chinese government Xi Jinping are out of control. Many opposing opinions believe that this may be the cause and effect of retribution being hit on the head of Mr. Tsai's government, because from the beginning of February until now, China has continuously suffered from high-level battles. Degree of heaven and earth, according to statistics, from the beginning of the year until now, from the beginning of the year until now, from the beginning of the year, 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 from the beginning of the year until now. The heavy rain and strong winds until the stormy storms cause flash floods, tornadoes, landslides, broken dikes, earthquakes, and tsunamis. Head of China, causing countless difficulties for Beijing's government and its impermanent people. However, yesterday a flood of death pipes continued to fall. Most notably, all dangers are still lurking about the Three Gorges Dam, China's largest dam and also the largest dam in the world. This dam in the past month has been continuously facing a critical situation which may break at any time. The flood of pipes up to more than 8 meters high, the height of a two-story building hit at dawn this morning. Analysts say that perhaps this is the final blow of Mother Nature on the head of the Xi government, because of what China has caused to the world and the territories and waters that China has inflicted on the world. China has robbed even countries in the region, what the Beijing government has caused pain to neighboring countries around it. In recent days, the government of Mr. Xi Jinping has received back the pain of the law, Casality. Ladies and gentlemen, according to analysts, there is no country in the world that can punish China's arrogance and arrogance, but now there are natural disasters that take the consequences on behalf of the world. The views have been clearly stated that nature should target the Chinese government officials, and their people are just innocent people, weak legs and soft hands. The evil extravagance of the Chinese government deserves to be punished by nature. Many countries in the world do not speak up, but in their hearts are satisfied with what the cause and effect is poured on the head of the Xi Jinping government. The most sinful and painful here is the more than 1 billion people of mainland China. Very sorry for the people of this country, because the head of China is the person who caused the disaster today. So, perhaps, more painful blows to the Xi government's head are only natural because he deserves such punishment. The South China Post newspaper, a public body of the Communist Party of China, 
said that due to continuous rains and floods lasting for nearly a month, the amount of water upstream of the Yangtze River and the Three Gorges Dam continuously poured into the provinces, China's tributaries and low-lying areas, causing severe landslides. Pipe floods, flash floods, landslides continuously appear. Not only that, the southern provinces of China also appeared in a row two very strong earthquakes with a magnitude of 3. 5 and 8.0 on the Richter scale, turning these places into rubble and ash, no different. Deserted Desert Due to the amount of water discharge from the three huge discharge gates of the Three Gorges Dam, and the amount of water pouring into the East Sea, it did not stop the flow at a high speed of 50,000 cubic meters per second. Appeared in a very short time, about 15 minutes, but the places it went through were extremely damaged. It is estimated that nearly 2,000 high-rise buildings were demolished, a dike broke, Thousands of large and small cars, televisions, refrigerators, and household electrical appliances were washed out into the East Sea. Fruit trees and crops were destroyed and withered. Now 26 southern provinces of China, especially those like Wuhan, Hunan, and Hubei are still submerged in the sea from 4 to 5 meters, even in low-lying places up to 9 to 12 meters. On satellite images and videos reported by people in Huanghongko town, Flooding and inundation all show that houses up to five to six floors high, now only the top one or two floors are empty. Flooded. Experts say that the damage that nature punishes China is incalculable, because the Chinese government will take many years to restore the original status quo. Rainfall, flash floods, landslides, earthquakes and volcanoes are forecast in the coming days in the 26 southern provinces of China, and may cause other surrounding areas as well. China continues to receive news of lightning strikes, which is very unlucky for the Chinese side. Analysts say that the Great Wall, the capital city of Beijing, Tiananmen Square is one of China's notorious tourist attractions, the pride of this country. They are very proud when it comes to these tourist attractions. But experts said that if the government with Mr. Chu does not repent and does not change his character, it is likely that Mother Nature, Heaven and Earth will get angry and flatten these places. Currently, many Chinese people no longer trust the head of government in Beijing, Mr. Xi Jinping. More than 1.4 billion people across mainland China wish to have a peaceful life, a prosperous, happy life. But that small wish is being robbed by the Chinese government. Because on his path of fame and gain and ambition, Xi Jinping wants to take China forward to become a number one power in the world, surpassing the US and the European Union. It was Mr. Xi Jinping who was too hasty, made too many mistakes, once and after another. Now he is being turned against by the whole world because of distrust. 14 countries that share a border with China, now only Pakistan has a relationship with Beijing, because it is China that is a threat to the world. Currently in the world, there is only one country, which is the government of Prime Minister Hun Sen Cambodia, is close to Beijing. It is known that the Cambodian government has donated a lot of rice and bread to the people of China when the floods came. It shows that Xi Jinping's close associate, Prime Minister Hun Sen, is very loyal to Beijing. Ladies and gentlemen, there are many opinions that the super flood of pipes at dawn this morning will be the last punishment of heaven and earth if the Xi government does not know how to sit back and realize its wrongdoings. At the same time, his government must know how to bow in repentance and must promise to himself that from now on he will not go to war, aggression, bullying and expansion in the East Sea. Without sending troops to invade the territories and waters of countries in the region, and especially with Taiwan and Vietnam, China will surely be at peace. And if Mother Nature does not get angry with one more intensity, China's Three Gorges Dam will surely burst, and then two-thirds of Beijing's area will be washed out into the South China Sea. But to do that, his government must recognize its guilt. However, observers say that he is still bossy. China's military still conducts live fire drills and missile launches around Fulham Island bordering Vietnam's Hong Sa Archipelago. Recently, two US spy planes were chased away by the Chinese Air Force around Woody Island. Because they believe that this sea belongs to China's sovereign waters, because it is within 12 nautical miles around the Cao's Tongue Line. China strongly stated that any ships of any country infringing the Kaodong as well as the seven islands of the Chinese site will be destroyed. Beijing's army is also said to be sending a lot of soldiers, heavy weapons, lethal weapons close to the Indian border, because China has always been ambitious to invade the range. Himalayas, one of the famous Indian mountain ranges around the world. That concludes today's video. Thank you and all of you for paying attention. 
please like, subscribe to the channel, and turn it on notification to receive the fastest and most accurate update from 24 Hours channel. Goodbye and see you in the upcoming videos.